The new Imager tool included in the new Cubase Pro and Artist 11 gives you control over the stereo image in four frequency bands. Hi, I'm Marlon and welcome to the White Note Studio. The new Imager is a great new tool with the emphasis on tool. The plugin does the following. It gives stereo control and allows up to four frequency bands with individual stereo width, volume and panning. You select the number of bands here. And the crossover can be set like this. If you started working with one band and then add another band, you have to set the crossover point again. Every added band sets all of the crossover points back to the default setting. Each frequency band has a separate goniometer to check the mono compatibility. You can flip the display here from a simple to a more sophisticated display. With the stereo width dial you can make each band smaller or wider by changing the mid-side balance. On, for instance, the Master Bus, you can use the stereo width to make sure the low end is mono. And you can use it to widen the mid range on guitars and synths. With Pan, you can place the frequency bands to whatever place in the stereo field you want. The panning makes this plugin more of a directional EQ, where you set the frequency by adjusting the crossover points. This is nice with, for instance, stereo overhead tracks where the low end of the kick is more in one microphone than the other. Just pan the low end to the middle and you're good to go. But be careful when you do it, you can easily get the stereo image out of whack when you do it. Each band can also be adjusted in volume with the dial. Or by dragging here. You can rebalance the sound like that. By making something more mono or more wide, you might want to adjust the volume. So this is a logical and useful addition. The interface is not rescalable and the plugin does not adapt when you use one band instead of four. Maybe something for the next update. If you want to know more about the plugins included in Cubase 11, watch the video displayed on screen right now. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!